Hello friends, I am Vinay Mote, nature and wildlife photographer and today I am going to talk about depth of field and hyperfocal distance. In order to explain the concept of hyperfocal distance, I am going to use some diagrams and walk you through the examples. Okay, so to understand the concept of hyperfocal distance, we are going to take one example. So we are assuming that we are standing in a field and field has got many flowers in front of us and at the background far away we got the mountain so once you focus on particular flower at the distance if your lens got focus ring it will show you where you are focusing if you're focusing at far basically you're focusing your lens at infinity so that's where you want to be so let's say that's the flower you want to focus on once you focus on that flower you are getting flower clearly visible and also at the background you are getting mountain clearly visible it means your lens is set to infinity as soon as you set that the distance between that flower and your lens is gonna be a hyperfocal distance interesting thing is so half of the hyperfocal distance in front of your camera from that distance to infinity everything is gonna be a clearly focused so that's the half and that's what your depth of field gonna be. So when we say everything is clearly visible, means you're gonna have that much depth of field. So if you got few flowers in front, as you see here, yellow flower, and you also got this pink flower, these two flowers are going to be clearly visible, as well as at the background, the yellow of these flowers gonna be clearly visible. However, if there are flowers which is closer to your camera, if you less than your half of hyperfocal distance, then those flowers not going to be in clearly focused. Now, the question is, can we change hyperfocal distance? Yes, you can change the hyperfocal distance by correctly focusing on a near subject to give you maximum depth of field. So instead of focusing very far, you focus nearby on correct subject where you get infinity focus as well as everything close by is in sharp focus by moving yourself little bit back so basically you are changing distance between your camera and subject or else you can increase f number basically that means you are trying to increase depth of field by narrowing your aperture so let's see it by example so that's our scenario where we are focusing on pink floor and that's our hyperfocal distance from half to infinity we got depth of field everything is going to be a clear we got these two flowers which are basically out of focus so first option is to move ourselves little bit back so we are we have increased the distance between camera and the subject so in that case hyperfocal distance still gonna be same however our half is now moved that's why our depth of field has increased and ultimately these two flowers will be in focus now now another option is to change aperture so as you can see our camera is still at the same distance our flowers at the same distance however if you see here our f number is now f16 which basically gives us more depth of field so in this case hyperfocal distance has reduced depth of field has increased which resulted in these two flowers being sharp so as you have noticed in first image i focus on pink flower uh, second from right second because I moved back, I was able to focus on third flower which is yellow flower from the right and third scenario I was able to focus again further closer which helped me to increase the depth of field. Alright, now let's look at some examples. So this is the first image from Cradle Mountain, Tasmania and as you can see in front we got stone and then the water and at the end we got mountain. So this is one of the landscape scenario where you need very large depth of field. So in this scenario, so I did focus on the rock here. So from the rock towards me, it's a half distance between me and rock will be in focus. And from rock towards at the end, which is far away, the mountains are in focus as well. So that's one example where you can see focusing at right distance will give you a large depth of field and everything will be in clear. Now let's look at another example. So this is another example where I went to Lal Lal Falls in Victoria. So I had few rocks in front of me and waterfall at the back. So I wanted to get both. 
So rocks from foreground and rocks from the background very clear. So I did focus somewhere around this rock, rock at the right, not in the front, but this is the second rock, big rock. As you see my mouse from the focusing distance towards me, so whatever in half a distance was in focus, so I made sure that my front rock is in sharp focus as well, as well as all the rocks at the back. So this is where it helped me by choosing right hyperfocal distance or right focusing point instead of focusing right away at the end or at the background at the waterfall you focus little bit front however you get full depth of field all right i hope that you understood the concept of hyperfocal distance and that's all in this video in next video i'm going to talk about how changing the shutter speed affects your photographs we're going to take example of slow shutter speed and fast shutter speed as well as we will see in more details about panning if you like this video you can subscribe here or you can register on my website vinaymote.com thanks for watching